Proof HD is a phase three randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled study evaluating the efficacy and safety of predopidine in patients with early stage Huntington's disease. The trial is being conducted in collaboration with the Huntington Study Group, the Rochester Clinical Trials Coordination Center, and TFS. The sponsor of the study is Prolenia Therapeutics, which is a clinical stage biotech company, and predopidine is the company's lead asset and agent that they are promoting. Proof HD is a phase three study trying to assess the capability of predopidin to improve the function of patients with Huntington's disease. That's something very special. We never had a drug in Huntington's disease so far to show a functional benefit in Huntington patients. We particularly look here for stage one, stage two early Huntington's disease patients, showing that these motor benefits can result in an improvement of everyday functions. We're looking for features of the disease which we can improve people's quality of life, your ability to continue to work your ability to manage finances by yourself, your ability to live in your own home, attend to activities of normal living, cooking, showering, bathing, taking care of your property. Predopidine has been evaluated before in a number of clinical trials. Most recently, it was evaluated in the PRIDE HD study. Predopidine given at 45 milligrams twice a day resulted in maintenance of functional capacity compared to patients receiving placebo at 52 weeks. Functional capacity was measured using the Unified Huntington's Disease Rating Scale, UHDRS, total functional capacity. There have also been some previous studies, in particular heart, and Mermaid HD. So all in all, there have been a large number of subjects treated with predopidine. From this, we have a really strong suggestion that there may be a benefit of predopidine 45 milligrams twice daily, and also very good evidence of safety. In the past, trials uh, aimed to see if predopidine affected the motor function in Huntington's disease. Since those trials were done, a new mechanism was discovered for predopidine in which it works through something called the sigma-1 receptor. And because of that mechanism, there are reasons to think that predopidine might slow the rate of change in functional decline in Huntington's disease. So we've now designed this clinical trial, Proof HD, to see if predopidine can slow the rate of functional decline in early stage Huntington's disease. We're looking actually for people of 25 years or older. The diagnosis of Huntington's disease of specific motor features that you had must have been established at the age of 18 or older. We would like to include people with motor uh, features already present, namely on this unified Huntington's disease rating scale, total motor score, you should have 20 or more points. And your total functional capacity must be in a certain range. Your principal investigator at your participating site will check with you. In the Proof HD trial, there is a screening period of six weeks where you need to come in and have a bunch of tests and scales done to make sure you're eligible for the trial and blood tests need to be sent and time needs to pass for, we, for us to get the results of those blood tests. There will also be a telephone call where we'll be doing the assessment of the primary outcome measure, the total functional capacity during the screening visit, because we want to be able to do the total functional capacity in person. But we also want to be able to do it by phone if we have to, as the trial goes on. The final visit for this primary outcome measure will be at 65 weeks. If you come into the trial early on, and get to 65 weeks before the trial's finished, we're actually gonna continue following you in the double blind part of the trial until uh, 78 weeks. At that point, you will have the option to go into an open label extension trial where they know they will get the drug. There are going to be 60 participating sites. There will be 30 in the United States and Canada and 30 sites in Europe. 
To find out more about the study, you can go to clinicaltrials.gov, a website that lists multiple different clinical trials in the United States and internationally. And then on that site, if you just type in Huntington's disease and proof HD or pridopidine, it will bring up the current study with some of the details where the current active sites are and how the study is organized. And also the Huntington Study Group website, which is www.huntingtonstudygroup.org.